hello guys welcome to study for civil services in this video we are going to cover ncrt class 7 geography chapter 8 in the previous videos we have already covered full chapters of ncrt class 6 geography and all the previous chapters of class 7 geography and in the coming days we are going to cover ncrt of from class 6 to class 12 for geography history and polity which is very basic and which is very necessary for all the competitive exams including civil services upsc and other state civil services exams and we will also solve the exercises given in the at the end of the each of the ncrt chapter so let's start the chapter this chapter is about human environment interaction tropical and the subtropical region in this chapter the special properties of amazon river and the ganga brahmaput river are given and the proper how the people live there how the people grow crops there what is the climate conditions and all the other things are given in this chapter you see the life in the amazon basin first you will note that amazon lies in the tropical region and uh, tropical region is very close to the equator and the position of uh, this amazon is between 10 degree north and 10 degree south and that is why it is referred to as equatorial region and the river amazon actually flows through this region and uh, you can notice how it flows from the mountain to the west and reaches the atlantic ocean to the east so amazon river moves from the west to east and west amazon river actually emerges from the mountains in the west and it reaches in the atlantic ocean to the east and the place where river flows into the another body of the river is known as river's mouth so a place where the river actually joins the ocean or sea is known as the mouth of the river and if you see numerous tributaries join the amazon river to form the amazon basin and basin actually consists of a large number of tributaries and the main river and all the the main river that all the tributaries they combine if they combine together they will form a basin and the river basin of amazon drains the portion of brazil peru bolivia ecuador colombia and small part of venezuela and if you see the countries of the basins through which the equator pass are brazil ecuador and colombia and if you see the story behind the amazon name actually spanish explorers discovered the amazon river whenever they were exploring the this south america area they were actually attacked by a group of local tribes which weird headgears and grass skirts and these people reminded them of the feeds or you know feast strip of women warriors known in the ancient roman empire as the amazons and that is why they have given them the name of amazon and that is why the name amazon comes now if you see this map 8.2 given for the amazon basin in the south america so it covers most of the countries of the south american continent and the major portion of the brazil and if you see the definition of tributaries tributaries are actually the small rivers that join the main river they actually put all their water into the main river and the main river along with its tributaries the drain and area forms a river basin or the catchment area and amazon basin is the largest river basin in the world this is very important fact please remember this for all the exams so it might be asked in the exam that which river has the largest river basin in the world and it is the amazon river so amazon basin in the is the largest river basin in the world now if you see the climate amazon base actually directly came on the equator line and that is why it is characterized by hot and wet climate throughout the year and it rains almost every day and both days and night are equal and equally hot and humid 
the skin feels sticky and it rains almost every day because in the daytime the because of the convection process the water will go up the water will start evaporating and start forming cloud and till the as the noon or the evening comes the water or the clouds will become heavy and they will come to the equator area and in the form of the precipitation and the rainfall and it almost rains every day and that too without any warning and day temperatures are high actually and with very high humidity and night also the temperature goes down but the humidity always remains high so this is the special property of the amazon that very high humidity then these amazon forests are very important and they are also known as the lungs of earth and it rains heavily in this region and that is why thick forest grow you can see 8.3 figure and forests are in fact so thick and so dense that roof created by leaves and branches does not allow the sunlight to reach the ground and that is why the ground always remains dark and dumb and only some shade of tolerant vegetables vegetations may grow here and please remember this fact that orchids and bromelites grow as plant parasite in the amazon forest and bromelites are actually the special type of plants that store water in their leaves and very small animals like frogs use these pockets of water for laying their eggs now the rainforest the amazon rainforest is rich in fauna birds like toucans and hummingbirds hummingbirds and the birds of paradise with their brilliantly colored plumages oversized bill for eating for eating make them different from birds whatever we commonly see in india and these toucans are we can make also these birds are, can also make very loud sound in the forest and various types of animals are also found in the amazon region like monkey sloth and ant eating tapers are found in the amazon rivers you can see figure 8.5 is the picture of tapir and various species of reptiles and snakes also thrive in these jungles then crocodiles snakes python also abound there and anaconda and boa constrictor are also some of the species and besides the basin is also home to thousands of species of insects and several species of fishes all including the flesh eating piranha fish can also be found in the rivers of amazon and this basin is you know the extremely the extraordinary rich in the variety of life found there if you see the people of the rainforest people grow most of these foods their foods in the small areas after clearing some trees in the forest and they actually follow the slash and burn type of agriculture and uh, men do hunting and fishing along the rivers and women take care of the crops and other home and other domestic activities so they mainly grow men actually mainly grow tapioca pineapple and sweet potato so the crops of the amazon rivers are tapioca pineapple and sweet potato and hunting and fishing are very uncertain and that is why it is basically the women who keep their families alive by feeding them the vegetables they grow so agriculture or the vegetable cultivation is done by the women of the amazon rivers and then the hunting and the fishing activities are done by the men and hunting and fishing activities are very uncertain and there is always amount of uncertainty in these type of activities so it is you know the basically women who, who keep their family alive and because they their family will be alive only by the by eating the vegetables whatever is grown by the women of the amazon basin areas and they practice less and burn agriculture i have told you this thing the staple food of this region is known as manioc which is also known as cassava and that grows under the ground like potato it looks like the potato these people also eat queen ants and xx and 
they also grow some cash crops like coffee maize and cocoa then the rainforest provide a lot of wood for the houses some families live in the thatched house shaped like beehives thatched house we have seen in the earlier chapter that these type of houses are built where the amount of rainfall is very high and also uh, no this thatched house are actually built whenever they try to cope with the hot climate and uh, there are also other large apartments like houses known as maloka which have very steep slanting roof and these maloka are actually made for the for the amount of high rainfall so that and also they made with the steep slanting roof so that water does not accumulate there and water you know comes down from the roof but life is in the amazon is also changing and because of the technology because of the demand of the people and and after 1970 the trans amazon highway has made and that actually connected all the parts of the all the rain rainforest accessible to the other or the outsiders and aircrafts and helicopters are also used for reaching various places and then the indigenous population was pushed out from the area and forced to settle in new areas where they continue to practice their distinctive way of farming and so we can see that the development activities which led to the gradual destruction of the biologically diverse rainforest and now it is estimated that that a larger amount of rainforest has already been disappeared and is continue to disappearing annually in the amazon basin if we continue to deforest these areas then there will be a lot of problem the soil will be the top soil will be washed away as rain falls on the surface and then these lush forests will be turned into a barren landscape if you see what is the slash and burn agriculture it is actually a way of cultivating a land here a, what farmers do they clear a patch of a land they slash the land they, they slash the trees they cut down the trees and bushes and then they they do the firing they burn all the trees and this actually releases some nutrients into the so, into the soil and also it gives potassium to the soil and then after clearing this so they grow the crops in this cleared field for few time and they don't need any type of chemical fertilizers they actually used all the all the ashes from the trees as a fertilizers and after repeatedly using the patch of the land the soil actually loses its nutrients and that is why after its fertility decreases the area will be abandoned and then they move in search of another place and then they clear another plot of land and in the meantime some young grows might have been grown in the old field and so in this way the soil fertility is restored and the people can then again return to it after a long time period and then they also cultivate it again but the problem with current days is that population is rising so the demand of food and food is increasing day by day and that is why also the demand of wood and other forest products are increasing day by day so the time period which should be given to which should be given after burning is not being given these days because of the increased pressure from the over population and from the people or itself so that is why the cycle the time period has not been given and that is why the nature cycle actually disturbs and so these days some of the environmentalists are raising their voices against this slash and burn and they are saying that these type of activities are promoting the deforestation but you, if you see that actually these these uh, tribal areas the tribes live in the harmony with the nature they don't use chemical fertilizers they follow actually a, a natural cycle 
so that the land regenerate its fertility the soil regenerates its fertility by itself so these are some of the properties of the amazon river and the climate and the people there now we'll see the life in the ganga brahmaputra basin the tributaries of ganga brahmaputra they together known as ganga brahmaputra basin basin i have already told you the main river and all its tributary whatever area they drain total area is known as basin and these basin lie in the subtropical region and situated between 10 degree north to 30 degree north latitudes and some of the tributaries of river ganga are ghagra son chambal ganda kosi and some tributaries of brahmaputra are lohit then then lohit is there then then there are some other tributaries now these uh, ganga and brahmaputra rivers they form the plain areas and the plain of the plains of the ganga and the brahmaputra the mountain and the foothills of the himalayas and the sundarbad data are the main features of this basin and some places also have oxbow lakes and area is also dominated by monsoon climate monsoon brings actually the rainfall from june up to september and summers in this area are hot and winters are very cool now it also has very varied topography and environment plays a very dominant role in the distribution of the population the mountain areas they have steep slopes and that is why they have very less very inhospitable terrain and that is why there they have less number of people living in the mountain areas or hilly areas of the ganga brahmaputra basin and if you see the plain areas they provide the most suitable land for the human habitation the soil is very fertile so agriculture can be done very easily in this plain area and since agriculture is the main occupation of the people and also flat land is available to grow crops so all these factors result in the highest density of population of in the plains of of ganga and brahmaputra and the main crop is paddy because cultivation of paddy requires a large amount of water and that is why it is grown in these areas because the amount of rainfall is very high at the mouth of the ganga river in the west bengal sundarban area and so if you see the direction of the southwest monsoon they actually enters through these areas like west bengal would be signed then meghalaya so that is why the amount of rainfall is very high and so the west bengal is the highest producer of paddy or rice now what is population density it actually means the number of persons that live in one square kilometer area for example the population density of uttarakhand is 189 then west bengal is 1029 and the highest population density of india is that of bihar and it is around 1102 now these are some of the crops like wage wheat mage sorghum gram and millet that are grown in the ganga brahmaputra areas and some cash crops also like sugarcane jute are also grown in these areas then banana plantation are seen in some of the areas then in west bengal and assam tea is grown in plantations then silk is produced through the cultivation of silkworms in the areas of bihar and assam then in the mountains and hills where the slopes are gentle crop are grown on the terraces now if you see the vegetation cover of the area varies according to the type of the landforms and in the areas of brahmaputra plain tropical deciduous trees grow i have told you this fact that most of the forest of india and most of the area of india is covered with the tropical deciduous trees and uh, they are teak silent people and also some places we found thick bamboo groves in the brahmaputra plain and delta that is sundarban delta is covered with mangrove forest these type of forests can also survive in saline areas this is the special property of mangrove forest and if you see in the parts of the uttarakhand sikkim and uttaranchal pradesh Arunachal pradesh 
some of the coniferous trees they they have very a cone like leaves and these trees like pine cheer devdar fir they can be seen because climate is very cool and slopes are very steep and you can also find a lot of variety of wildlife in the basin of ganga and brahmaputra like any elephants tiger deer monkey are very common and also one on rhinoceros is found in the brahmaputra plain and one on rhinoceros is found also in the manas and kaziranga area national park of the assam and in the delta area bengal tiger crocodile and alligators are found and aquatic life also abounds in the fresh river waters the lakes and the bay of bengal sea and uh, this is very important fact that the most popular varieties of the fish in the ganga pramutra area are rohu katla and hilsa and the staple diet of the people living in the region of ganga pramutra are fish and rice that is why some some people call them as you know the culture of ganga pramutra is the rice fish culture and this is actually terrace farming is the way of for the soil conservation actually the terraces are built on the steep slopes and they create flat surface so that whenever the crop is grown and the slope is removed the water does not run off rapidly the water the water you know stays there for some times and the speed of water will be reduced with this terrace farming and so the chances of soil erosion will be reduced this is the fact that in the fresh waters of river ganga and brahmaputra variety of dolphin a ganga dolphin locally known as susu or the blind dolphin is found and the presence of susu is all actually an indicator of the health of the river if if the river is not polluted then the number of susu or the blind dolphin in that area will be high and if the untreated industrial and urban waste the high amount of chemicals will be poured into the water then the susu will be killed and that is why it is the reason of uh, no killing of these species in the large numbers now this is a simple story and there is nothing much important in this there are several towns actually and cities they are located in the ganga brahmaputra river like the elahabad kanpur varanasi lucknow patna and kolkata they all are actually pop having the population more than 10 lakh and they are located along the river ganga and sometimes the waste water from these towns and industries is discharged into the rivers and that is why this is causing the pollution to the water pollution to the river and also all the four ways of transport like railway roadway airway waterway are are well developed in the ganga pramputra region and also in this plain area the roadways and railways transport the people from one place to another and waterways is very efficient mean of transportation particularly along this ganga pramputra area because it has a very developed waterways also from alaba to haldia and also in this region kolkata is a very important port and it is located on the river hugli and this plain area also has a large number of airports tourism is also very important activity because of the taj mahal because of the you know some of the places in the alahabad and alahabad is also located on the confluence of the river ganga and yamuna and there are some places in some places in bihar also and uttar pradesh for the buddhist stupas and lucknow is very famous for his imam bada then assam is kaziranga and manas as national park and wildlife sanctuaries and also arunachal pradesh is famous with a very distinct tribal culture these are some of the places that worth a visit in these ganga brahmaputra area now see the exercises name the continent continent is south america the crops grown by the people of amazon basin is maloka see this is given here 
a crop staple there are various types of crop grown by the south american people like tapioca pineapple and sweet potato and the staple food is manioc now the birds that you can you are likely to find in the rainforest of of amazon see the most famous is the token then hummingbird and then also there is a bird of paradise then the major city is located on river ganga alabad patna and uh, where is one or rhinoceros found they are found in the assam in the wildlife sanctuaries of kaziranga and manas then no objective tokens are a type of birds maniac is a staple food of amazon kolkata is located on the river ugly devdar and fir are a type of coniferous trees bengal tiger is found in delta area then match the following cotton textile found in the ganga plain then maloka is actually a slanting roof then pirana is a type of fish silk worm is sericulture kaziranga is in assam then reasons why rainforests are depleting because of the increased amount demand of food and agriculture processes and that is why and also the increasing amount of urbanization and all because of the overpopulation population increased and that is why rainforests are being cut to fulfill the demands of the growing population pad is grown in the ganga brahmaputra plain because these areas having a large amount of rainfall so this is the end of the chapter in the coming videos we will cover all the chapters of ncert from class 6 to class 12 for geography history and polity these ncert books are very important to make the basics for all the competitive exams including and also very important for the upsc and other civil services state civil services exam if you want all of our videos and some of the most popular videos of internet and some of the very compact and important study material for gs paper 1 2 3 4 and also the material for the daily coaching from the daily coaching and also current affairs magazine all at one place you can take our full course pen drive course you can visit our blog for the more information please like share our and subscribe our video thanks for listening